Hello y'all, this is Willie Bill. I got a review for you today. Um, what we got for you today is the tiniest pillow you've ever seen. Um, we call this a minimalist pillow. Everybody building tiny houses, things like that. There's limited space in them. So uh, what we got here is a pillow you'd put in a tiny home and then you can very carefully position your head on it when it's time to go sleepy night. And you can use that pillow like that. Sound good? <laughs> oh, it's not the tiniest pillow. Not at all. What this is here is called a Bagito. Uh, Bagito. www.bagito.co um, This was given to me as a gift. Um, and I did think it was a tiny pillow, which I thought was kind of rude. Um, I don't know why you want me to not sleep comfortably. Um, but it turns out it's not. So what this thing is, you pull a little pull string, you open it up, and you can flip this sucker inside out, and it's like a damn magic trick. Voila! Look at that. I just got my baguito turned into like a reusable shopping bag. That's pretty good. Look at that thing. It's got handles on it, and it's got like the part where the stuff goes um, on it. Um, looks like over here on the side, did I see that right? I thought I saw like a pocket for like a drink. I did, right here. Does this fit in it? Oh man, look at that. Hey. That's pretty good right there. Bagito, you did a good job. I could fit my Nalgene in there. Um, if I didn't want to use that pocket, I could use main pocket and just go like that. And that's pretty good too. Huh. I think Willie Bill is pretty satisfied with this thing so far. Um, let's see if we can explore it a little bit more. Um, if any of y'all are, are people that, that aren't familiar with how bag works, um, I, I apologize for your resistance because uh, that's sure a bummer um, if you can't put down the mechanical uh, 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 use of, of a sack. Uh, we use them all the time. Um, there's a problem now. People using them throwaway bags and just letting them in the trash, not, not recycling them or using them for other stuff. Um, and this would be like a pretty good option that you could use and just uh, go get your groceries, things like that with it. Um, the reason it was given to me, I'm um, going on a trip, right? And we're going to be uh, on beach. And th this was advertised to us as like, hey, you can put your beach stuff in it, um, which looks like a very accurate statement. Uh, there's a drawstring on here. So you can pull the top closed. That's pretty good. And keep your, uh, keep your beach towel thing like that from falling out. And then when you have it wide open like this, it's a, it's a Bagito. I don't know what's this name, Bagito. Like burrito, is that what you're trying to do? Bagito? I feel like there's a clever joke in there that Willie Bill just not getting. Oh well. Um, this Bagito has, uh, has some stuff written on it. And that's because that's who the folks it's from. Uh, Yoga Pod Denver West. Uh, be connected. Uh, what does this say? Uh, does that say breathe? Breath, strength, sweat. Breath, stinks, st strength. Strength. We'll be talking good today. Strength. Maybe strength instead of strength. Uh, breath, strength, sweat. Or, yeah, it wouldn't be breathe because breathe would have an E. Because um, spelling, I'm good at spelling. Breath, strength, and sweat. Um, this, I would say, is accurate. So, uh, my connection to, to this organization uh, has just been through one individual. I took one uh, yoga class, and, uh, and this individual is hooked up with this yoga pod, folks. And uh, this thing was called a strong yoga class. And I would say that, that these are, are accurate. Um, 
it is incredibly difficult. The breathing was a key, um, and I sweat my brains out. So, yeah, that seems appropriate. Seems appropriate indeed. Um, outside of that, I don't know there's a whole lot to this. Um, I guess you could use this as a disguise. You put over your head. Now you don't know who I am. Who's talking to me? Is that Willie Bill or is that somebody else? You don't really know because I have a yoga uh, beach uh, bag, baguito bag on my head. It's protecting me. Uh, it's also protecting me from bug bites. Um, I imagine you could use this in lots of situations. Just put it on your head. Um, if you're tired of looking at folks, you can put this on your head. You don't have to look at folks. That's, that's good. That's good. Uh, I heard the expression, people living with blinders on. Uh, how about people living with bags on their head? That's that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I got a bag on my head. Yeah, and I feel I feel like I'm isolated from the world. That's pretty good. I'm also not going to get sunburned. It's good for sunburn. You could put a baguito on your head, and then uh, and then you won't get sunburn. Uh, I wouldn't recommend uh, walking with baguito on your head because I can't see much. I can't see much through this bag, Baguito, uh, but I do feel like I'm protecting my face from the cancerous rays of the sun. So, so there, there's that. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not sure what else you can do with a bag on your head. Um, so I'm going to take it off my head. How about that? Yeah. Oh, man don't want to come off my head so there I've shown you now uh, multiple uses for the bag you know, uh, of what you can do with it and uh, yeah if you need something like that a little like travel bag uh, that's pretty good that's pretty good you use something like this in a camping situation as well uh, you saw how small it packed up um, if you had that inside your backpack maybe and uh, and then you ended up at a campsite and uh, you need to gather some like firewood or uh, kindling, something like that. Or maybe like you're somebody that knows enough about like berries, things like that. You can go collect it. Um, you could collect some berries with this and then bring it back to camp. Um, that'd be pretty handy. Um, I say that's another good use for the baguito. And you can zip it closed right there. That's pretty good. I say that thing's handy, man. I thank you very much. Uh, we don't get a whole lot of things donated here at the channel, but uh, th this was at least donated at, to the individual. Might as well support the channel. So thank you, um, yoga folks. And uh, thank you, Baguito, for making something pretty cool. I think we'll call it there. If you enjoyed this uh, review, make sure you do like, like, subscribe, and all that kind of thing. And uh, tell your friends. And uh, we'll have a new review up next week. We'll see you then. Take care, y'all. This is a Bagito. Why they get Bagito.co? Somebody got Bagito.com? That is something that is not the Bagito? That'd be a real strange move. I don't understand that.